Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, today I'm super excited to show you this beautiful cozy cabin. Um, it's called the Boathouse and you can find it on Airbnb or on their website. I'll put both of the links in the description. So I know for sure you guys are going to want to stay here after watching this video. Um, it's winter right now in Canada and it's the perfect getaway. And this is the first Airbnb that I'm showing off to you guys. Um, there's going to be more in the future coming up. So you're going to understand why it's called a boathouse in just a second. So we're currently in Ontario, just a little east from Algonquin Provincial Park. And the cabin is located right on the edge of Golden Lake. So you know you're going to get some amazing views. Come on in and I'll show you guys. Okay, so the nice thing about this little entryway is you got a barbecue machine over there. Do all your cooking. Um, you can use it more in the summer, but in the winter you can still use it, you know. You also got this two uh, little patio sets over here. And it's the perfect spot to grub on in some food and look onto the uh, Golden Lake. All right, let's go inside. Okay, so entering the place, you'll start to see that the theme of the entire home is uh, this boating, nautical kind of lifestyle that fisherman lifestyle. So Greystone on the lake gave us two nights to stay here and we had an awesome time. The fireplace is a must, especially right now in winter. It's automatic and it warms up the home really quick. It's perfect for two people. It's a small cabin but still very spacious with these tall ceilings and these two big windows that let in so much light and give a beautiful view looking over Golden Lake. We literally for half an hour were just looking around at all the decoratives and little details in the house. It was awesome. The bookshelf is filled with National Geography magazines so you're never going to get bored in this house. You got this nice little bathroom which had an awesome mirror that I kind of wanted to take home. Anyways, there's also a standing shower which is great. The bedroom entrance has these really cool doors which I think are called louver doors, I'm not too sure. Anyways, it was a nice touch. We really liked the lights on each side of the bed, which had its own controls. It's kind of the same lights that they use on boats. Overall, you feel like you're in a ship in the middle of the ocean when you're sleeping here. There's no TVs, but you're not staying at the boathouse to watch TV. There are so many things to do near Golden Lake. We first wanted to try snowshoeing, which we had never done before. They let you borrow snowshoes, and I actually forgot my winter boots and they were kind enough to even let me borrow their own winter boots and socks. First time snowshoeing. We don't know if we're doing it right. But I thought you're actually supposed to like kind of float over the snow because you have more, uh, more of a surface area over the snowshoe but you kind of still sink in. Okay, on to the next adventure. Uh, we're gonna go ice skating on the lake. All right. Now we're walking to the lake and it's a beautiful sunset. middle of the lake and they made an ice rink and I think it's safe. finished skating and the sun had already set. Cindy who is one of the owners was calling us to tell us that the fire was ready and I wanted one more shot with the drone and I forgot how close I was to the tree already and yeah this happened. Oh my god so we're on this ice I was trying to get a 360 shot of uh, us skating around and I don't know, I didn't see the branch. I literally just crashed the drone into a tree. But it's fine. Oh my God. It's fine. It works. Shh. 
she had everything ready for us. Blankets, s'mores, wet naps, and hot cocoa. We even got to take home these beautiful mugs. And then we watched the stars and called it a night. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Honestly, I really want to thank Greystone on Golden Lake for giving us two nights here. They took super good care of us. If you search up stays in Ontario on Airbnb, the boathouse shows up in the top five every single time. If not, it's one of their other cabins because they got more than one cabin on Golden Lake. I definitely recommend you guys checking out this place. We went during winter, but in the summer, it looks really nice as well. I'm gonna be putting all the links in the description, the actual website, plus the Airbnb link. So I'm gonna be doing more videos like this in the future, showing off cool Airbnbs, hotels, and nice stays. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, comment, like, share, do all that stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.